Today, we're gonna to talk about why your business needs its own phone number here on The Journey. Hey everyone, I'm Neely. And I'm Emma. And today we're gonna to talk about the importance of having a phone line for your business because although we're online 24 seven, there's still that comfort of hearing a real person on the other line. And people wanna know that their concerns or frustrations are being heard. They're not just being lost somewhere online. So it is really important to have a phone number in order to have a connection with the real person on the other line. So Emma, I know you have coffee and click but I gotta ask, do you carry around two phones? No, just one because I have a virtual phone number. Can you tell the audience a little bit about what that is? Yeah, so basically with one device, you can have two separate phone numbers, which is really great for your business. So you can, one, not have to carry two phones, annoying, right? Um, but also you can separate personal from business all in one device. Right, because you don't wanna answer a customer and go, Hey, what's up, man? And it's a customer it doesn't look that professional. I mean, maybe in the coffee and kickflips well, world. Well, we're pretty, we're pretty chill at pretty coffee and kickflips, yeah, yeah. but, uh, but not everyone's that chill right. and that's cool. You're a little bit more professional. That, that setting, it just isn't there. But now if you answer the greeting like, hey, this is coffee and kickflips speaking. I'm Emma, how could I help you? Yeah. And you know it's for business and not personal. It really helps separate that line. It makes yeah. you a little bit more professional, right? Yeah. Same, in the same breath, Neely calls me to like go skate. We're just going to hang out. And I'm like, hey, it's Emma Coffee and Kipflips. Can I take your order? I'm like, what? <laughs> He's like, I'm just trying to hang. Wrong number, bye. <laughs> so another cool advantage of having this virtual number, is voicemail transcriptions, which is super rad because you don't have to actually like answer the phone and then grab paper and a pen and then you're writing down quickly what the message says. It right. never works well, plus my handwriting looks like a doctor's. Um, so That's true. So ineligible. And then um, in addition to that, it just makes it easier because it transcribes it for you. Yeah, and it's super helpful, right? Because like you said, you don't have to go and listen. You can look at it in your own time, see what it is, just get the cliff notes and mm -hmm. just bounce. Exactly. And now another benefit of that phone number is that caller ID and basically call block. Yes. I know when I freelanced a lot and I had my clients, they would literally call me at all hours of the day. Mm -hmm. With these second phone numbers, you can set your hours. So if you only want to answer calls for your business from nine to five, you set that and anything after goes directly to voicemail which then you get that transcription. So if it's important, you can call them back. But if it's not, it can wait for tomorrow. And also that goes right in line with what we preach a lot about on the journey, which is work-life balance. You gotta prioritize time between, hey, this is when I work, or rather compartmentalize, this is when I'm working and this is when I am off the clock. So you keep that balanced life and you don't get burnout. All right, so another advantage is an automated attendant. I know that my doctor uses this and it gives you that touch tone opportunity. So it really gives the call to where it needs to go based on the purpose. So, so like a press one yeah. for blah, press two for if the reception. If you're a current patient yeah. or yeah. And in addition to that, I know that's also beneficial because you don't have to hire a receptionist. Yeah, and there's some of those service will outsource who answers it. If it does end up going to voicemail, you can have someone pick up the other line and handle that, that, that call for you. Mm -hmm. Now, another advantage with the secondary number with some of these apps like Smartline or Google is that it offers the ability to have either a localized number like in Arizona or 480, what's Cali? Uh, well, I saw my Indiana number, but it's 260. There you go, <laughs> you can update your number, <laughs> right? But you can also pick from a toll-free number so you can look a little bit more professional, a lot bigger than uh, what a localized number mm -hmm. would do for you. So you have a 1-800 and then a number. Mm -hmm. And many of these services let you pick your number so you're not just given one at random. You can kind of scroll through the catalog, see what's available, possibly make it an actual word. I know that was a pretty big thing. I tried with my phone number, it didn't work. It spelled like half a word and I was like, ah, just bummed out. But another advantage that you can use with your secondary phone number. Also keep in mind that not all virtual business numbers are created equally because some may not forward your calls or they can't really decipher between is this personal, is this business. Right, and some other options to consider with your phone are like call recording, three-way conferencing, or just personalized extensions. Mm -hmm. Really, you wanna look at what are you using most with your personal phone right now and mirror it with your secondary business phone number. Also, some offer a little 
musical jingle while you wait. This is the official journey dance. All right, you just learned why you need a business phone number. Comment below and let us know what your favorite tip was. And while you're there, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you can get these episodes first. This is The Journey. We'll see you next time.